हेलो एवरीवन सो टुडे वी हैव विल सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन व्हिच हैज ए लाइक ए क्लिपर लाइक स्ट्रक्चर गिवन व्हिच हैज टू डायोड्स डी वन एंड डी टू एंड द रेफरेंस वोल्टेज एज वन वोल्ट एंड टू वोल्ट्स राइट बट दे आर कनेक्टेड इन ऑपोजिट पोलरिटीज एंड वी हैव बिन गिवन ए इनपुट साइन वेव फॉर्म विथ एम्पलीट्यूड्स ऑफ प्लस टेन एंड माइनस टेन राइट एंड द कटिंग वोल्टेज फॉर बोथ द डायोड्स इज वन वोल्ट सो वट दिस क्वेश्चन आस्क अस टू डू इज ड्रॉ द ट्रांसफर करेक्टरिस्टिक्स and plot the output voltage so f- first uh, observations of the circuit is we are seeing that both of the diodes are connected in uh, same manner right from like uh, anode to cathode so uh, one thing is for sure like this positive terminal is connected to the anode of this d1 and this negative is, is connected to the anode anode of this d2 right so like this is for sure this d1 will turn on first before this because this this is more positive right so let us first uh, like analyze the circuit let us first like uh, think like when both d1 and d2 are off what is the output voltage so when both d1 and d2 are off we the circuit is left like this this is vi this is 1 kilo ohms this is off right this is off and this is also off there is voltage source i am just not drawing it and this is 1k right and we are taking the output from here this is simply a voltage divider circuit so vo will be simply equals to vi times 1 divided by 1 plus 1 which is vi by 2 right so vo equals to vi by 2 now here what we need to check is like at what condition this uh, like d1 or d2 turns on right we have to find both of the conditions so let us first assume like vi is positive right? at positive half cycle because at positive half cycle this plus will come around here so this, this there is a possibility of this d1 turning on right at positive half cycle so let us first assume that uh, like both d2 and uh, d1 and d2 are on what happens when both d1 and d2 are on right so if i assume that the circuit i can replace it something like this replace the diodes with their equivalent cutting in voltage right so this is plus 1 volts this is 1 volts this is plus minus 2 volts this is again 1 volts and this is the circuit right i am draw- not drawing the other uh, right and left parts just drawing the both d1 and d2 so now if i apply the cable right if i apply the cable what i am saying is it is not satisfying right the cable loop is not satisfying so what is happening this point is coming to 0 volts when d1 is on but the, this point t- is telling is we are we are at 3 volts right so that's not possible so what is wrong Our our assumption is wrong. So, uh, what our initial like thought process was that this D one should turn on first, right? And this D two should turn on later. So, if that's the case, let us like uh, turn off the D two. Then see what happens. Let us measure the potential across this diode as V D two, right? So, when D one is on, what is the potential across the diode? So, if I if I apply the K wheel, right? If I apply the K wheel, minus one, plus one, plus two. Plus V D two equals zero. Now what is the V D two? V D two is basically minus two, which is not possible because, like, um, I mean, it is possible. Uh, the thing is, for V D two to turn on, right, di- diode two to turn on, V D two should be greater than V gamma, which is one volt in our case, which is never happening. So when D one turns on, D two will never turn on. Okay, this thing we have to keep in mind first. Then next, what we need to do is, now let's uh, find the condition for which D one turn on turns on for the input condition, right? so let's find the condition for which d1 turns on so uh, basically what is happening is uh, let us like uh, we know that vo is equal to vi by 2 right this this we know now if uh, like vd1 turns on for vd1 to turn on what do we need to do so let's first apply the cable through this loop right let's uh, apply the cable so if i apply the cable we see this this is like plus minus v0 so minus v0 minus 1 Plus V D one equals to zero, right? This is the K V L loop. We're going through this loop, right? Now, what is V D one? V D one equals to V O plus one. Now, for V D one to turn on, what should be the condition? The condition is basically V D one should be greater than V gamma, right? The cutting in voltage. The output voltage should be greater than the cutting in voltage. So, so this V O plus one should be greater than one volts. So V O should be greater than zero, right? And what is V O? V O is basically V I by two. So V I by two should be greater than zero, or we can say V I is greater than zero. 
सो इन दिस केस लाइक वन वी आई इज ग्रेटर दैन जीरो दैट इज बेसिकली एट पॉजिटिव हाफ साइकिल ऑफ द साइन वेव द डायोड डी वन टर्न ऑन एंड द आउटपुट वी गेट इज जीरो वोल्ट वाई लेट्स ड्रॉ द इक्वल सर्किट लाइक आई एव ड्रॉन इट प्रीवियसली ऑल्सो बट स्टिल लेट्स ड्रॉ इट वन वोल्ट एंड दिस इज जीरो and this is the vo right this this diode is turned off d2 is turned off we have the input here we have the input some current is flowing through it but this is the main circuit right if i apply kvl here vo will be zero right so for the positive half cycle vo is always zero now what is happening in the negative half cycle right so one thing what we observe is when this vo is set to zero volts right now this diode d2 can never turn on basically this diode d2 is just given for the sake of it this diode d2 does nothing here right so this d2 will never turn on so uh, at positive half cycle we will just get a zero zero response right now what is happening at the negative half cycle let's see that now we have got two ranges right either vo uh, sorry either vi has to be greater than 0 or vo has to be greater than 3 volts right now vo can never go more than 0 volts so this this condition is gone so and if vi is greater than 0 volts then only this d1 is turned on so for every other case d on and d2 will be off right now if d on and d2 will be off then vo will always be equal to vi by 2 right for negative half cycle vo will be vi by 2 so what will be the transfer characteristics of this like uh, given uh, circuit right clipper circuit so uh, like what do we mean by transfer characteristics it is basically the plot of the vo versus vi right vo versus vi what type of output we are getting for input so what we are observing is at positive half cycle positive half cycle vo is zero whatever the input is like for vi positive vo is zero so for vi positive vo is zero so this is we are getting vo is zero now for vi negative right for vi negative at negative half cycle vo is vi by 2 so what is the slope of this slope of this is plus half so basically for negative values of vi we are getting negative values of vo right so it will lie in third quadrant right in this quadrant and the slope is plus half so the slope will be this plus half and this will be the transfer characteristics right for like positive values of vi we are getting zero volts for negative values of vi we are getting negative values of vo for example let's say if vi is minus 1 what will be vo vo will be minus 1 by 2 so we are getting negative value so we will lie in the third quadrant right not in the uh, second quadrant uh, generally that's the misconception right so next is let's draw the like a uh, time response of the output voltage basically the time response will be positive half cycle it will be zero then for negative half cycle it will be a sine wave of amplitude minus 5 right because uh, we are having the slope is uh, like half so we are having slope will be minus 5 then again it will be zero then again it will be minus 5 so this will be the output voltage waveform and this will be the transfer characteristics right so this question has nothing just a bit of twist because this diode d2 is on and we have been given reference voltage but this circuit right this is not doing anything this is the main thing it's just clipping the positive portion and we are just left with the negative portion right that's what this circuit is doing thank you for watching and and if this video helped you like uh, a clearing your concepts and please do like the video